welcome back to my channel. I am finally getting around to doing my haul video. I have about 20 polishes here. I think maybe upwards of 20 polishes. So this is probably going to be one of my longest videos, at least in recent months. So you might want to grab a snack, get a little comfortable, just be prepared to be sitting here for a little bit. I'm going to start off with the polishes you can pick up at brick and mortar stores. I don't have too many, but this first one is Don't Harp On It. So this is a silver linear hollow. It is from Color Club. Color Club is very well known for their hollows. And I got to say, they kind of deserve it. They deserve the recognition that they get for these hollows because they are really good. You don't see the linear hollow so much indoors, but you still can see it. This one had a really good formula and I was able to get it opaque in two coats. I also decided to go ahead and pick up the the black uh, linear hollow from color club this is black magic this has a little bit of a green tinge to it which I wasn't really expecting uh, maybe it just pulls green on me which I have had that problem before where a polish was actually like blue but it pulled green on me um, this had a fantastic formula can I say that fantastic I got this opaque in just one coat I wasn't really expecting that blacks are kind of hit and miss in general across the board when it comes to all brands but this one was a one coater the next two are from sally's beauty supply they had their 70 percent off clearance sale or was it 50 percent off clearance sale i don't know it was some huge uh clearance sale and of course right when you walk in they have the table sitting there with all the nail polish you know enticing you to purchase so i kind of browsed through it they didn't have too much which i was kind of surprised by my sally's usually has a pretty good selection even in their clearance section but this time they didn't i did find two that i really wanted uh this first one you guys have seen this is a gelish polish it, it is a gel polish this is i'm brighter than you this is so pretty. This is such a me color. The formula was a little bit thinner. It did require three coats, but given the color that this is, three coats really isn't surprising to me, and I would purchase it again in the future. I really loved wearing this, and I do think it's perfect for the summertime. The next one I picked up because of Kenny Nicole, actually, because she just, I don't know why. She's been talking about this polish, at least lately, or maybe I've been watching the videos where she's been talking about this lately, but this is Orly's, um, but this is Orly's Melt Your Popsicle. It's a neon orange. The formula isn't the best. It's not the best neon formula that I have tried from Orly, but I was still able to get it opaque in three coats. I really like this. It's super bright, and I can see why she enjoys this one. I actually have a few more things from Sally's, but these are not nail polish, but I'm just going to share them with you anyways. I picked up some hard gel from Sally Beauty Supply. I talked about this a while back, but I have very wide thumbnails. But not only that, they don't have much of a C-curve and that combination is just a recipe for disaster for me. They always end up like hitting on something and breaking on the side. I always end up with a break below the hyponychium. It's, it's painful and it's frustrating and I can never seem to grow out my thumbnails. So you know what? I'm just... I'm just going to deal with what I have. I'm going to work with what I have. So I decided to pick up the IBD hard gel. This is an LED UV builder gel. You can uh, do extensions with this, which is what I do plan on doing. I'm not going to do like crazy extensions, just enough to give me a little bit of length that matches the rest of my nails because that's really just what I want. Even if it's just a super short thumbnail, I just want to have some free edge you know uh and with that i did pick up the led uv bonder from ibd as well this is just what you put on before you put on the builder gel so i did pick these up i have been messing around with these a bit um i'm still learning a little bit so i hope as time goes on i get a little bit better but these really are just for my thumbs and maybe if i have a break on my nail because that happens sometimes too. Moving on to the indies. First of all, we're going to talk about the fact that I am an absolute hypocrite. I'm saying it right here, right now. I am a hypocrite. Months back, I talked about how I didn't want to participate in polish pickup because I don't like the pressure and the rush of having to make a decision. And that's absolutely true. If I'm in a store and I only have five minutes to find something that I need and I can't find it, I'm not going to find an alternative. I'm leaving. I'm just going to get nothing. So having said that, I did participate in the May Polish Pickup because Noodles Nail Polish participated. I They made a contribution and I couldn't pass it up. You guys know this. You know it. So I did pick up I'm Blue. Like I said, this is from the May Polish Pickup. This is like a blue, I think maybe like a blue jelly base and it has a ton of flakies and a ton of holographic glitter in there. It is packed with flakies and glitter. The formula is so good. I got this one all picking two coats and it just, there's so much depth to this. It's gorgeous. The other polish that I picked up is from Crow's Toes and this is Under Our Sea. This is like a creamy white 
I want to say like an off-white base and it has uh, gold holographic glitter in there in different sizes. This looks so pretty. And what's interesting about this is that I had been looking for a polish like this. I was actually looking for a white base with gold glitter in it, gold holographic glitter in it, but once I saw this, I was like, that, that'll that work, that'll work, but I'm still on the hunt for a, a white base that has gold glitter, gold holographic glitter in it. So if you guys know one, go ahead and let me know. And I couldn't pass up the stamping plate that was offered that month either. This is just the 90s theme because the month of May for polish pickup, it was 90s theme and I'm a 90s child, so I did pick this one up. It's so cute. I haven't used it yet, but I'm thinking about using this with my pencil stamper. I think I might do that with a polish with me video that I will ultimately end up doing in the next couple weeks because I don't know something about this and that little stamper seem like they just go hand in hand doesn't it maybe it's just me I did go ahead and make a 9-0 lacquer order because I was concerned I was going to miss out on sprinkles you guys have seen this from me before it's just a white curly base and it has pink yellow aqua like mint and black and orange glitter in here the formula is very fairly good I do think it does require a third coat but Really, for day to day, I don't see why you need to add that third coat. I mean, two coats works just fine with the formula. I mean, it was easy to apply. Uh, and then the next one that I got from 9-0 is Cottontail. This is a pink foil. It is so reflective. I could not believe it when I opened my package how reflective this was. I have foils in my collection, but there's something about this that's just extra shiny. The formula was good too. This one was another two coater. A couple weeks back, Moonshine Manny had a 20% off sale, I wanna say, on the site. It was the weekend of the indie shop and I'd been eyeing some polishes from Moonshine Manny anyway, and I figured what better time to buy indie polishes than when they're on sale. So I did go ahead and place an order. I picked up six polishes. This first one is Stop in the Name of Love. This is from the spring collection of this year. This is like a pastel peach and it has flakies in it. I wish there were more flakies in here because the contrast between the flakies and this base color is just so so cute. This is a curly formula, so it did require three coats, but it was an easy three coater. And I gotta say, the brush that Phoebe chose for these polishes is really good. It looks fairly narrow, but it spreads out nice and wide, which I have wider nail beds, but this is kind of one of those brushes that I think would be universal for everybody. The next one is Whoa, I like mom's new job. I knew hands down I was gonna get this one. I've been on this gray kick lately. I don't know what it is. I haven't been wearing gray on my nails, but I have picked up some gray polishes, which you'll see another one later on. But this is just so pretty. It has like this shift to it. It looks kind of green and then other times it looks like it looks orange. And I love it. The formula on this was really good too. This one was a two coater for me. A little bit ago, Stray Lights posted a swatch of the Way More Fun Party. And when I saw her swatch photo, I was like, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. It looked so good on her. So I hopped at the chance to go ahead and throw this one in my cart. This is a very shifty polish and it has holographic glitter in there. Sometimes this looks green. Other times it looks kind of like purpley or magenta. It's a very interesting polish and I can see why people enjoy it so much. This one... Out of great formula, just as the other ones, I got this one opaque in two coats. The polish that I've had my eye on probably the longest is in the Pacific. We all know that this is supposed to be a dupe for the original Pacific Blue. I do own that one, and I actually think that this is pretty spot on. So if you missed out on that one, this is a great alternative. The formula on this was thinner than I was expecting, but it wasn't so thin that I couldn't get it opaque in two coats. It was a at full opacity at two coats, so I was enjoying this one. And also, can we talk about how darn good this looks matte? This looks so good matte, and I never have heard anybody talk about this being matte. Oh my gosh, if you have this, or the original Pacific Blue, try it matte. It is stunning. It looks velvety on your nails. It's gorgeous. The last one that I picked up from that sale is Inconceivable. This is an incredibly shifty polish. Sometimes it looks like fuchsia, other times it looks like it's teal, but it has these flakies in it. I think it's the same flakies that are in Stop in the Name of Love. They look the same. Uh, this is one of those chameleon polishes. Depending on the light and depending on the angle, it's going to look a little bit different. This is not a polish that I would typically pick up, but I was just in the mood of wanting to try a new polish, so I did pick this one up. It did have a good formula, and I got this one opaque in two coats as well. The last polish that I got... I didn't actually get during the sale. I got a week later because Phoebe posted her indie shop exclusive. You may get wet on the on the site. She posted her leftovers, and I think maybe she mixed up a little bit more so that more people could get their hands on this. It is 
so beautiful. I mean, really, it's beautiful. It's a blue jelly base, and I feel like there's some neon pigment in there somehow because this just literally glows. It has shimmer in there. It has flakies in there. And once again, the flakies gives that base color just it looks so, so good. My husband even said something about it. And while my husband appreciates my love for polish, he doesn't exactly love polish himself. So I knew when he said something that this one was a good one. The rest of these are all from Noodles Nail Polish because I placed an order before I realized I was going to be getting to review the summer collection for you guys, which was a very exciting moment for me. So I did pick up all of the polishes in her spring release. The first one is Bunny Trail. This is a very light gray base with flakies and what appears to be holographic glitter. This is so pretty. I love this so much. If you have Under the Sea from Noodles Nail Polish, the flakies in here I think are the same as the ones in Under the Sea. This is so cute and I cannot get enough of it. The name, oh my gosh, the name just fits this one perfectly. The next one is Lilacs and Lilies. This is a pink base and it looks like copper glitter in there. I saw, I think it was Jessa and her nails on Instagram. She posted a photo of this one, which is a beautiful two coater with the next one, Moonlit Gardens, which is like a holographic glitter. It's like the cousin to Moonlit Seas from the summer collection. If you guys saw that review, she posted a photo using both of these polishes in a mani and I my jaw dropped it was so gorgeous she sold me she sold me on these I think these look so cute together and I just might steal her mani idea I'll give her credit but I just might steal it because it was just that cute both of these were two coaters and I gotta say lately I don't know what it is lately I've been eyeing some hollows is it the season maybe I'm not sure but I really enjoyed those too uh, this next one is very unique. This is Awakening, and it's like a taupey base, but it has like purple glitter in there. I would have never thought to combine those two colors, but it works really well on the nail, to be honest. I mean, it's kind of ugly, but it's like, dang, that's kind of a really pretty ugly. So I picked that one up and had another great formula. Two coats. The last two from the spring collection are Crelly Glitters. The first one is Spring Blooms. This is like a spring green and it has holographic glitter and gold glitter, it looks like. Uh, the formula is really good. That's one thing about Noodles Nail Polish that just blows me away. I've tried Corelli glitters from other brands and they don't ever get fully opaque at two coats, but Noodles seems to really have that formula down. And that's what blows me away about the Noodles Nail Polish Corellis. And that's why I'm attracted to them so much. Other than the fact that they're constantly coming out with curly glitters. The next one is Hippity Hop. This is a white curly base with purple, pink, and hollow glitter, it looks like, in there. So cute. And you guys know I had to add it to my collection. So it's mine. And the last one is Noodles Nail Polish Peach Bleach. You guys have seen me talk about this before because I have already worn this. I could not, I could not hold off on wearing this. This is adorable. I've said this before, but I did see this in these stashes last year and throughout I think the end of last year, but the polish had already been sold and that would bum me out because I wanted it so bad. And so when Natalie, the creator of Noodles Nail Polish, re-released this, I immediately bought it. As soon as I got the email, I immediately went on the website and I purchased it. This is so cute. The formula is fantastic. Fully opaque in two coats, no questions asked. That is it. Those are all of the polishes that I have here to share with you guys today. I do have more polishes on the way. So don't be surprised if you see another haul next week. Did you see that 9-0 trio that was just released? You guys know I couldn't pass that up. I couldn't pass it up. So that's on its way to me. So keep your eyes out for another haul if you guys enjoy those. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.